Well, I've been friends with him about 13 years. Uh, he lived beside us for about two years in his pickup truck. Every time you've seen him, he always had a 9 millimeter stuck right here in his blue jeans. And the motivation behind him doing this? He was scared of everybody. Well, what would make him... He was paranoid, very paranoid. He was well intelligent, but, you know, he was anti-government. He believed the government controlled the dogs, and uh, they had a shocking device in the dogs that would stop them from winning if you had bet on that dog. He thought the government would track him with a cell phone, anything electronic he would not have because he swore the government could track and know exactly where he was at. The man, he just snapped. I mean, he snapped. His family had done abandoned him, I know, at least 10 years when he moved out of his sister's. None of them had anything to do with him anymore. I have no idea about the bunker. I mean, all I know is he was building it. I have no idea what it looked like, where it was at, or anything. I knew where he was staying, but he was in his van at the time. He was living in the van. About 10 years ago, they had come and got him. He had uh, some marijuana in the backyard, planted in his backyard, and a pistol. They took the pistol, the marijuana, and I don't know if any charges were filed or not, but he was asked to leave the property, and he'd never come back.